the four of us came together because we, uh, we are passionate about creating impact through education. Uh, we've taken on a challenge to tackle early childhood education for children between the ages 0 and 6, and especially for those who need it the most. Uh, we call ourselves Simba, and as I'm sure many of you know, it means empowerment. We want to empower children, mothers, communities to have a better education. We're all from different country, countries. I'm going to introduce all of us. So first we have Amanda. She's from uh, California itself. She's very passionate about education and community development. And then we have uh, Tanya. She's from, she was born in Zimbabwe and grew up here in Joburg. So, she's been traveling around the world advocating for a better education. Then we have uh, Jello from Belgium in Europe. He spent some time in Cape Town uh, where he took on the project with children and uh, he told me that he's very passionate to come back here and get started again. Yeah. I'm from uh, Belgium too. Uh, my name is Julian uh, and I've studied business and hospitality. educate a young group like yourselves is the first step to not only empowering education, but we believe it's the first step to empower Africa. I encourage you to ask yourself the question often of how you would like to see Africa grow. You are the next generation of leaders that will be coming, and you have the power to make a difference, and we would like to encourage you to think about the things that you wish you could change. You represent a very, very powerful group of students, and we are excited to see where you all grow and the future that you guys start to provide for Africa. Luck is success or failure brought by chance rather than by one's own action and opinion. But this doesn't exist, guys. There is no such thing as luck in life. The most successful people are often born in difficult environments or did not have an easy childhood as everybody could think of. Ask yourself this question. Is what I'm doing now getting me closer to what my goal? If yes, then just go ahead, keep the passion for it, and if not, Maybe step back a little bit and see how you can adjust your action to align to your end goal. Do one thing every day, every day that your future self will thank you for. You have to have a vision for yourself. People are more likely to be willing to help you and be around positive and confident people. Because it's not how good you are, but it's how good you want to become. Okay, so I want to start by telling you a story about a young inspirational girl that I know. <coughs> Um, this girl, at the age of 11, she comes from a small village in Pakistan, which they call the Swat Valley. And Pakistan is one of those places where a lot of the terrorists in the world like to hide, because the Pakistani government make it so easy for them. So some of these terrorists are now running in small villages, but they rule them with fear, with guns, they kill people. So that is the type of environment which she was living in. So the Taliban, which are one of the terrorist groups, they moved into the Swat Valley, which is where this girl came from. And when they got there, they decided to ban education. And not just all education, but education for girls. And so young girls, like all of you who are sitting in here, were no longer allowed to go to school. And they threatened and said, if you go to school, they will kill you and kill your family. But this didn't stop this girl. In fact, it made her have a voice. She would stand in the town center and she would tell other girls the importance of getting an education. Because education is more than just going to school. Education is giving you and your family, your community and your nation a future. And she understood that. Her name was called Malala. Have any of you heard of Malala? Yes. Well, for those of you who have never heard of her, I'm going to tell you. When she was 15, one day she was in the school bus on her way back from school and they stopped the bus and they had guns and they said to the girls who were sitting in there, they said, who of you is Malala? And all the girls were so frightened, nobody said anything. But you could see on their faces that it could, it could tell who exactly Malala was. And the guy who had stopped the bus pointed his gun and he shot Malala three times. The first bullet hit her head. But I have good news for all of you. That wasn't the end of her. 
it made her have a louder voice. Today, Malala is the youngest person to ever win a Nobel Peace Prize. They sit there and they listen and she says to them, girls should have an opportunity to go to school even. But when you educate a girl, you educate a nation. So today I'm challenging all of you. When you come to school, come with a different attitude. Because by coming to school, the nation of South Africa can potentially become a greater nation. speak to the parents of tomorrow because we think that to achieve the greatest impact we need to make sure that parents when they have their children they know what to do with them we need parents to know that when your child is just four months old they should be receiving some kind of education to help them for the future my name is Naomi and what I'm today is that it's not about you the best but it's about what you do the best my name is Polina and what I learned today is that you create your own life and it's not about how good you are, it's about how good you will become tomorrow. I've learned that education is the only key to success and we have to change like so much children to become better people.